Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel, welcome to A Squad Builder and we're going with a 4-1-2-1-2 formation today and I've decided to build a team around Suarez. Some of you wanted it on my previous squad builder and the last time I used him, he wasn't that phenomenal. A lot of people praised him and said he was a brilliant striker and I didn't see that last time I used him but I want to build a team completely around him and I wanted to make it really really competitive and i think i've done that i think i've actually found a team that is really strong for him now if you do want to get some coins check the link in the description for the fifa shop.co.uk and use the code toby10 to get a little bit of a discount there's some really awesome ways to get coins back into your account which is awesome or if you'd prefer to get some PSN codes, MSP codes, or just really cheap games, check out G2A in the description down below and use the code TBY3 to get some money off at the checkout. So let's have a chat about this team, man. It's actually a team where I have no links wasted, as far as I'm aware. I think so anyway. Pretty certain. But the defense is actually really solid. We've got some of my favorite defenders in here. We've also got Minile. We've got Emre Can. I think that's how you say it. I had some Turkish mates at uni. And I think what is like in English can is actually John in Turkish. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's actually Emre Can. But well, never mind. He's a very, very good defender on this game. We've got Alaba on the left-hand side. And I absolutely love using Alaba. Anytime I can fit him into a team... I'm always happy to because he's such a bloody good left back. Left mid, we're going with Neymar. And you might be thinking, why waste such a good player at left mid? But he actually gets involved a hell of a lot. Like, he really, really does. He also bagged me three penalties just by dribbling and darting in and out of the box. Which is awesome. Like, a player that's really sort of shifty and difficult to tackle is always a good player in my books because... You can win penalties pretty easily on this game. Kadira is our CDM, six foot two, medium, medium work rates. Can't really ask for much more. We've got the Inform Charisma on that right hand side. Five star skills, 85 pace, 79 shooting, 87 dribbling. I wish, I wish I could have that man of the match, but it eludes me every time. I cannot get my hands on one, nor can I get my hands on a center attacking mid Balassi. It's. It's been driving me nuts. I've been trying to get one for so long and I've wanted to make a team around him. I can't do it. I cannot find one on the market whatsoever. I've tried so many methods, so many ways of getting him. Doesn't work. Different times of the day. Nothing. Nonetheless, moving back to the team. We've got James Rodriguez at our centre attack mid. And he is a brilliant cam. A really really impressive player then we have jackson martinez as well this guy i cannot wait for his most consistent team of the season it's gonna be so good because whilst he might not be the most amazing striker like he might not put away everything he does put away you know i'd say eight out of ten chances but he's just in the right position all the time and it's it's brilliant really Really awesome. Then we have Suarez, and my word, was he so much better in this team than the one that I used before. I think I used him before in a 3-5-2 with Daniel Sturridge up front. It just, in all honesty, it didn't work for me. This team, however, I really, really found home with. Like, it, was, it was really comfortable. I haven't used this formation in quite a while. The passing was great. Possession was decent. It was fun. It was really, really fun. I'll, I'll be honest, though. I kind of prefer Jackson Martinez to Suarez. Like, I, I don't know why. I just, I for some reason did. He ended up scoring me a few goals. But Suarez's dribbling was so much better than when I used him the first time. It really, really was. His speed, his acceleration was what I expected it to be. It really was. Like, the first time I used him, I was so disappointed because I was so excited about using him. And at the time, he cost me like 500 odd K. And when I used him... I didn't really think much of him, but this time, this time I really, really was impressed. And he's so cheap. I think I got mine for about 160k, which is mental. That is so, so good. I probably won't even sell him because he was actually a fun player to use. And this is a nice little goal using that Berber spin to get into some space and then slotting it nicely home. And it's a good team. It's a really good team. I'd say it does have some flaws. Emre Can is occasionally, occasionally... A little bit sloppy in his defending. Like, he kind of gets pushed over or just hustled off the ball. And Minile 
is, is, is an okay keeper. He's not amazing. He's not bad. Does the job. That's that's all I'll say. He does the job. He, you know, he's not as good as Neuer or Sirigu or Handanovic. But he's not as bad as, as some of the keepers I have used before. So, he's pretty good. It's not something that I'm knocking the team on. The team's actually really, really solid. I'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10. So, it's a very, very good team. It's incredibly competitive. If you're in high divisions, I'm pretty certain this team will do very well for you. It's, it's a good team. And it's not actually too expensive. Suarez is a little bit pricier on the PlayStation. That's why I've kind of counted that in and said it's under 500k. You could probably get it for under 400k if you play your cards right. But a very fun team. Would definitely recommend it. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, leave it a like and subscribe for some more. But take care guys. Have an amazing day and goodbye.